So in this triad exercise, we're again looking at an inequality. In this case, it, it involves fractional coefficients. Uh, we can clear those up just like we did with equations. You, you can go ahead and, and use the fractions themselves if you, if you like. Uh, but we can go ahead and get rid of them by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator. And again, don't forget about multiplying or dividing by a negative value on both sides. If we do that, we have to change the direction of the inequality symbol. So our first step is we're looking for the LCD, the least common denominator of, or least common multiple of 4, 12, 6, and 8. Uh, th that would be 24 because 8 goes into 24, 6 goes into 24, 12 goes into 24, and 4 goes into 24, and it's the first number that does so. So we will multiply both sides of this inequality by 24. No negative multiplication involved yet, so we don't need to change any uh, inequality symbol. 24 times 1 fourth, that is 6x, minus 24 times 1 twelfth is 2x, is greater than 24 times 1 sixth is 4x, plus 24 times 7 eighths, that's 21. So now we can combine like terms, 6x minus 2x is 4x is greater than 4x plus 21. We should already, already notice something strange here, and that's that, hey, wait a minute, something is greater than something plus 21? Uh, th that's an indicator that we're going to end up with no real solution, because you can't have something, start with something, add some uh, a real number to it, and still end up with the same the same value. So we end up with 0, after we subtract 4x from both sides, 0 is greater than 21. Well, that's false. So there's no real solution. As far as graphing it on a number line, we can just have the number line and not graph anything on it because there's no real solution. Uh, interval notation we could just say no real solution. Uh, you won't see it in this course, but uh, at least thus far. But you can also just make this. That's called the null set, which essentially means that there is no real solution. 